But five, Detroit police have given murder warrants to prosecutors for charges against D'Angelo Martin. He is the man suspected in the serial killings of women on the east side. As of now, Martin only charged for allegedly raping and stabbing a woman in his mother's basement. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel live downtown tonight. And Brian, there was a hiccup on even more murder charges. That's correct, Alan Glenda. Right now, two murder warrants submitted to Wayne County prosecutors for their consideration of charges against Martin. But there's also two more that are on hold. Why are they on hold? Well, they say, police say, because the medical examiner hasn't given an official cause of death yet in those cases. And without the official cause of death, no warrants, no charges. Regardless, Martin today in court for what he has been charged with, the rape and stabbing of a woman who fought back and survived. Suspected serial killer D'Angelo Martin arriving in court today. Martin accused of raping, then murdering multiple women in abandoned homes on Detroit's east side. But today, he faced one of his alleged victims who got away. Her identity protected, she testified Martin lured her to his mother's home with promises of food, a shower, and a place to sleep. In the basement, she says she woke up to a real life nightmare. My next memory is waking up to a sharp knife going to just to, to shocking pressure going into my neck. She says Martin, going by the alias Amir Elijah, stabbed her, left the knife stuck in her neck, then started raping her. She pulled the knife out on her own and pleaded with him. And I was talking to him saying, please, um, can you call the ambulance? Please don't kill me, please. I have three children. She eventually pushed him away, grabbed the knife, and fought back. What are you feeling at that time? Fear. Death. Martin's attorney outside court today. Well, everybody's entitled to representation. And, I, you know, I understand the nature of the case. And, you know, we will proceed it with like we do any other case. Now, Martin was bound over for trial with a court date set a week from today, but we're also learning more new information from investigators in the homicide cases, the serial killing cases, that there have been human bones that were discovered back in December of 2018 that have been sent to an out-of-state lab for DNA analysis, DNA testing. They believe they may be linked to a missing Ferndale woman. She went missing back in August of 2018, Deborah Reynolds, and they believe all of this could be linked to Martin. Reporting live, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. All right, Brian, thank you. We're going to